I'm John Stone. I work at the University of Illinois uh, in a research group that does structural biology and uh, molecular dynamics simulations. And I'm also the associate director of the CUDA Center of Excellence at the University of Illinois. And I help with teaching uh, students and uh, researchers how to do CUDA programming. The acronym VMD stands for Visual Molecular Dynamics, and it's a uh, molecular visualization and analysis tool that we've developed over the last 20 years uh, that allows researchers to see the structure of proteins and uh, biological molecules and watch their dynamics. And that allows them to better understand their biological function and how pharmaceutical compounds would interact with these structures. And basically, it helps them do their day-to-day -day work understanding these complex biomolecular systems. So being a molecular visualization program, VMD has used graphics acceleration uh, since its inception. There are many computationally demanding tasks that a researcher has to perform to understand how these structures work. And some of these calculations are tremendously demanding. And GPUs have become a means for researchers to perform those calculations rapidly and conveniently on a desktop computer. That allows them to do their work much more efficiently than before. It allows them to uh, look at much larger and more complicated molecular systems than was possible in the past. We can now render molecular surfaces for very, very large structures, which previously were far too large to be rendered uh, in real time on the GPU. And as you can imagine, if, if we are unable to do this on the GPU, then we have to the CPU, the host machine, may have far more memory, but it is much, much slower. So then it no longer is able to maintain an interactive display rate. And so one of the new features in, in the latest version of EMD is this uh, greatly increased memory efficiency for these molecular surfaces. And this allows, for example, uh, researchers in our laboratory to view large structures like the HIV capsid in a molecular surface representation and to do animations and things that simply wouldn't be possible uh, without that feature. The areas where you get the greatest GPU acceleration are algorithms that have components in, in them that unsurprisingly have some similarity to what GPUs do in their day job, which is the, the shading of all those pixels on the screen. So things that contain transcendental functions, for example, tend to be very fast on GPUs. So uh, to give you an extreme example, one of the fastest algorithms in VMD uh, using the GPUs is the, a molecular orbital display algorithm for quantum chemistry uh, data sets. And that algorithm makes use of exponentials and re reciprocal square roots and other uh, tr special functions that when executed on the GPU, these uh, execute in a handful of clock cycles. When you execute those on the host machine, for various reasons, the CPU doesn't have uh, as high performance hardware for that kind of work. And so this, the speed up that we see in the case of the GPU, one GPU can perform uh, these calculations in the, at, the, at the speed that you would have to have over a hundred CPU cores to do the same work.